<laughs> the Lakers won their 12th straight road game last night in Orlando. In fact, they're undefeated on the road since a loss to the Clippers on opening night, which is technically a home game, meaning they're undefeated away from Staples Center this season. Brian, what's the reason behind the success on the road? It sure helps to have Anthony Davis and LeBron James. <laughs> oh, there you, there you um, go, the pen here. You know, <laughs> Davis and LeBron. Got you. They, because um, they're pretty darn good at home too, but uh, they they play defense. One of the old adages in the NBA, Scotty, defense travels. So mm. when you when you play good, strong defense and you can take it on the road, you have a great opportunity to be successful away from home. And you know they've they've really played with great intensity in some of their big road games. Like if you watch the intensity they played with in Denver and in Salt Lake City last week, they wanted those games. Right, because those were those were the tough games. Yeah. They've been killed for their schedule a little bit as well. Yeah. I, I think Brian hit the nail on the head. It's, it's really been their, their defense. They've been able to hang their hat on that, but mostly it's been about the schedule. You know, you look at the schedule, they've only played three teams that's over 500, Dallas, um, the Jazz, as well as the Nuggets. The Nuggets and the Jazz are not playing the type of basketball that we've seen them play a year ago, but give them credit. Uh, when you got AD and LeBron James, you got two of the best players in the game. They're going to be difficult to guard. I don't care if you put two teams together. Scotty, how do you, how do you guard that? If you're, if you're out there, you're on the floor, and <laughs> you're guarding LeBron, and Anthony Davis coming up to set that screen, how do you defend that? It's, it's, it's a tough defend. I mean, really what you have to do is switch. You know, you're talking about two guys that's almost equal in size, Obviously, obviously, mm -hmm. AD athleticism is far beyond uh, where LeBron's is now, but it's very difficult to stop them in terms if you're playing on switching or making a play. But you, you got to throw different options at LeBron. You got to double team him sometime and not allow him to make that pass. I know with his size that he's able to see the four very well, but you got to force someone else to make the pass AD and not LeBron the, James. The, the representative from the Western Conference this year may come down to. Who can handle the Who can handle the LeBron AD pick, pick and roll? And roll. Yes. Who can handle the Paul George Kawhi Leonard pick and roll? Can they solve it? E either side, whoever does it better, might be the one who's in the finals. I got a headache just thinking about it. <laughs> uh, here's the crowd reaction to Dwight Howard checking into the game last night. Take a listen. Still, here's the booze here in Orlando. His last year here was 11-12. Now, before the game, Dwight told reporters, quote, I think it takes everybody a while to get over things, but time should heal all wounds, and if not, got to let that bleep go. Scotty, do you think it's time for Magic fans to get past their beef with Dwight Howard? No, they still pissed. They won a championship, and he didn't bring them one. Oh, so uh, oh, that's the way I got that note, the Kawhi Leonard note. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to piggyback on the Lakers to get a championship. Orlando fans ain't buying that. But it's over, right? Like it's No, it's not over because you don't want – it's the same reason that the Pacers fans were all over Paul George mm -hmm. last week. I'm bad. They see their ex doing yeah, well, well. <laughs> in L.A. They don't want that. Like it or not, they don't want that. It, it was a little easier to see him in Oklahoma City than it was to see him in L.A. It's just, right. it's just the truth of it. Well, and for, but what about Dwight? Because Dwight's been – all around, and he's been battered, and I think his because career is Because he's taken... doing well now. They liked it when he was getting dumped by... Oh, <laughs> we still got moved, though. They liked it when he was getting dumped by all these teams. Like, we're better off without him. Now they're not so sure they're better off without him. That's, That's amazing, reality. man. I, I, like, I just feel but like... By the way, Dwight, in his post-game comments, David McGinnon had this story. Same thing as Paul George. He goes, well, when the story comes out... No, you, you can't... Know, like, uh, like, if you knew what everything that was done to me, I was like, all right, well, if the story needs to come out, then put it out. If it doesn't come out, I don't care about Nobody it. Nobody who was there works there anymore. I'm what just, more do you want? I'm just telling you what he said. <laughs> nah, man. Like, Paul George, he can still run with that line. Dwight, you can't. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports analysis and highlights, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.